And now we're here with meteorologist Michael Barron's and Michael. So it's been very dry recently. Is yeah. this maybe what contributed to this wildfire? Yeah, I think without uh, much uh, doubt that we've certainly seen the dry conditions contribute to the fire danger that we have across West Michigan. In fact, that danger going to be around West Michigan as well as we head toward tomorrow. So it's going to be a day that we certainly need to avoid any kind of outdoor burning outdoor activities that may generate a spark that could lead to a, a wildfire situation that fire up to the north. Here's a look at what you could see on radar. You see that little plume coming out from underneath grayling. That is smoke from the wildfire. The video reloop there. Some of it was heavier earlier this evening, crossing right over I 75 and US 127. At this hour, radar not picking up some of those heavier smoke plumes, likely a result of those crews up there battling that fire. But what we're also not seeing on radar is any more rain. We had a few pop up thunderstorms early this afternoon, including a severe one down in Calhoun County, but now all of that is gone. We are back into a dry pattern and that little bit of pop up chance that came through this afternoon not going to repeat itself tomorrow. That's when we're going to be looking at falling humidity levels and an increasing fire danger at this hour. Dew points are still in the 40s and 50s, so that would be a little bit less conducive to wildfire activity. But look at the forecast in the next 24 hours. Dew points drop about 20 degrees here. That's the bottom line with the green dots. 20 degrees degree drop in dew points as we head toward tomorrow evening. That's part of the reason why we're seeing the risk for fire increase as we head toward tomorrow. In fact, fire weather watch will be in effect from 11 AM on Sunday through 9 PM Sunday. Again, avoid any outdoor burning activities that may spark a fire. And if you're around anything, say trailer change, ATV, stuff like that, that could generate a spark. You need to be using extraordinary caution for tomorrow. Michael, thank you. And